Hi everyone, Hussain Ghazi here. Welcome to the financial management orientation session. I am Hussain Ghazi, the facilitator for the subject financial management, advanced financial management and strategic business reporting. Once again, a very warm welcome to all of you for the financial management orientation session. The orientation session agenda based on these variables. Number one, first we will cover what is the right approach to study finance. First thing it's about what the right approach to study finance, not the financial management. Number two, then we will discuss what the financial management syllabus insights, including the exam format. Number three, financial management exam structure. Then we will move the study challenge and the solutions about the financial management. Number five, financial management study and practice material. And final, how financial management journey with HusseinKazir.com. So let's start, let's start the session with my brief introduction. I am Hussain Kazi. Alhamdulillah, almost more than one and a half decade of the facilitation experience for ACCA, for ACC qualification subjects, FM, AFM, SBR, senior faculty member at the Bani School of Accountancy and also associated with HusseinKazi.com online learning platform and also the KKDL, a digital uh, learning platform with Kashif Kamra. Alhamdulillah, multiple time students got prize winners who associate with me, who got the direction from, uh, from my subjects. I've conducted multiple exam focus session, not in Pakistan, but outside the Pakistan as well. ACC invited me multiple time uh, to facilitate the subjects or to facilitate the exam focus sessions uh, for FM, AFM and SBR. My profession, I'm a Chartered Certified Accountant and I'm also serving Director in HRS Network, a leading professional accountancy firm. My WhatsApp number 0092-321-82717. You can approach me during my official hours. And you can visit my website www.husseinkazi.com. Follow our Facebook page and you, you can also subscribe YouTube channel to get valuable insights. Let's start. The first point, first, the first very important point need to cover here. What is the right approach to study finance? What is the right approach to study finance? Students, all of us are business students. We are engaged with business studies. Either we study accounting, either we study costing, either we study law, tax, and even the subject of the finance. The F9, the FM is the first subject, is the first subject you are studying with the journey of ACCA. Almost you don't have any backup. You don't have any backup. Like if you study FR, you have a backup of F3. If you study PM, you already have a backup of F2. But the subject like tax, like double A, like FM, you people don't have any backup. So this is first time you people study with the journey of ACCA, the financial management. So I can say that here we will cover the ABCD for the subject finance. And I am the person who actually uh, support you to develop your mindset about the subject. And inshallah with this subject and the advanced financial management subject, you will and in fact, after the ACC journey, CFA or the masters or that, um, the masters of philosophy programs of the finance, my lectures will support you. Students, 
whenever you study finance, the subject financial management, you need to develop a right mindset. So first of all, we will cover here, what is the right approach to study finance? My first statement, the subject financial management, it's not about accounting. Our role, not as accountant, not as an accountant, but our role as finance manager. So what does that mean? Can you please elaborate this? Accountant role is about recording and reporting of the transaction. That's based on something past. Some transaction has already happened and the role of accountant is to record and report to the with respect to the, uh, I mean, according to IFRS, make the financial statement. That's the point. That is something past and recording and reporting. This financial management subject, yes, we use the accounting data, but the financial management objective is for, is for decision making. That is something about future oriented. We need to think like an entrepreneur, not as an accountant. Finance manager must have to think like an entrepreneur for decision making, not an accountant. So let's, let's discuss this point in more detail. Number one, with this subject, your role as finance manager, senior finance manager, financial controller, financial analyst like this. This picture, the picture of the world successful businessmen, all the businessmen, the success of the, the most successful businessmen of, of the world, right in the current era. Bill Gates, Richard Branson, Steve Jobs. Let's say Bill Gates. I know, I hope that you people know uh, the Bill Gates. Who is <laughs> Bill Gates? Bill Gates is a very successful entrepreneur and owner or the CEO of uh, Microsoft. So our approach with this subject being as a finance manager, we must have to think like an entrepreneur, like an entrepreneur. So entrepreneur, develop your mindset like an entrepreneur, not as an accountant. Means we need to dis we need to focus about something decision making. We need to focus about something planning, something future oriented. That's very important. That's future oriented. It's not anything about past. So first of all, prepare your mind whenever you start with the subject that's our role for decision making, our role for some planning, developing strategy and so on. Let it be clear in a more detail. The subject, uh, these two pictures, that's something about balance sheet, that's something about income statement. Income statement balance sheet. The picture of the financial statement. This one picture of financial statement, but the point of view, the point of view with respect to accountant is different and with respect to entrepreneur or financial manager is different. Same picture, two dimensions. The If as accountant, if I, if as an accountant, I see this picture. So what should be in my mind? How to record and report transaction and prepare the income statement and balance sheet. How to record means accounting and report means making financial statement. That's income statement balance sheet. This is what about the dimension with respect to accountant. But an entrepreneur never think about this picture as a making of the financial statement. For example, the entrepreneur, the balance sheet, the asset side, consider as investment. 
if they are entrusted to make investment like purchase machine or launching new product or entering new market or acquisition decision first of all justified with the profit if something justified with the profit then the entrepreneur become interested for investment and for this for this for investment if it's investment justified with profit required profit how to arrange finance the debt finance and the equity finance what is the right way to arrange finance debt or equity students the first agenda point is to develop a right mindset how study finance this is not only this point is not only support you for financial management but any other study of the finance can you please reply me are you people with me that's good that's brilliant move on let's take an example let's take an example what is this about as you, it's a business a manufacturing business a big plant assume this gentleman is you entrepreneur you on the you are an entrepreneur chairman owner of the owner of this business and this guy's me accountant hussein ghazi accountant assume that the chairman and the accountant both are both are in the same room both are in the same room and i am observing the communication of the entrepreneur of the entrepreneur let's assume that this person is finance manager oh sorry this person is a production manager and this production manager knock the door knock the door of entrepreneur room and enter and start communication with the entrepreneur with the chairman with you the communication start and me as an accountant observing what the communication is going on between you entrepreneur <clears throat> as an entrepreneur and accountant so here at this point production manager is actually communicating to entrepreneur mr entrepreneur congratulations the plant capacity is now become 100% we are utilizing 100% capacity of the plant is continuously the demand of the demand of your product increasing but this is enough we are not able to meet more ex more extra demand we are not able to expand the production capacity of this plant so for this we need to add one more plant so mr entrepreneur you need to think for the expansion of plant addition of one more plant and this communication is still observing by me accountant i have a question to you this picture income statement and balance sheet me as an accountant me as an accounting having a having some this question in my mind if entrepreneur agree to buy this investment buy this project or buy this production plant agree for expansion of the plant what should be debit what should be credit how i will estimate the life what is the right method of the depreciation what's how to calculate residual value which accounting standard to apply so 
I will be able to report in the right manner of income statement and balance sheet. So as an accountant, my role, my capacity is just for the making of the financial statement. My question to you that if you are an entrepreneur, will you think or the question in your mind same as an accountant yes or no will you think <clears throat> your brain should your brain should an entrepreneur brain work like an accountant means recording of the transaction yes or no absolutely not sir absolutely not entrepreneur brain will not work like a recording of transaction or like an accountant entrepreneur will think in this manner will think in this manner the investment suggested by the production manager is this investment viable means it based on this profitability First of all, justify the investment with respect to the profitability. If entrepreneur minds agree, yes, it's profitable. The demand is permanent. Then how to arrange the finance? Equity finance or debt finance? How to arrange the finance? Equity based or debt based? So either to invest or not. That's NPV. NPV, positive NPV, in negative NPV. That is about decision making. How to arrange finance, right way of finance. It's Is this about debt finance? Is this about equity finance? So that's the point. Need to cover here. That's a critical point. Need to cover it. So this is a clear difference. How entrepreneur versus accountant thing the dimension to the dimension or the approach to study finance is that always think like an entrepreneur means as a finance manager our role our role is to maximize the wealth of shareholder i repeat our role being as a finance manager our role is to maximize the wealth of shareholder so if really wanted to maximize the wealth of shareholder, that means we need to think about decision making for investment decision making for finance decision making. That is our role. And this is something about future oriented. This is something about planning strategy. That is not about accounting or recording. Is this clear all of you? Can you please reply me? That's good. Let's start financial management. Let's start financial management. Let's start financial management. Now, come on. First of all, the exam structure, the format. 100 marks compulsory question based on three sections. 100 marks compulsory question. Compulsory, sorry, compulsory. 100% compulsory question paper section a objective test questions independent 15 questions objective test blanks mcqs hotspots fifth and more others 15 otqs having two marks each total 30 marks total 30 marks section b objective test cases three objective test cases each case have five objective test questions each case ot based case having 10 marks 10 multiplied by 3 30 section c constructive response questions detail where required the spreadsheet functions and drafting techniques section c you need to learn spreadsheet functions plus drafting techniques 
a very challenge a very much challenge to all of you people the drafting but i will support you about the drafting that come on the syllabus details the syllabus insights syllabus insights six syllabus areas number 1 financial management function and environment number 2 investment appraisal number 3 business valuation number 4 business finance number 5 working capital management number 6 risk management now let's discuss in detail one by one each part of syllabus syllabus a area fm financial management function and environment this is orientation session we will not discuss anything in depth about the technical aspects just a quick briefing to develop mindset this topic is about as a finance manager as a finance manager our role is to maximize the wealth of shareholder so if our role is to maximize the wealth of shareholder so for this the number one step identify the investment opportunities identify the investment opportunity where to invest money and justify that is this investment viable or not for example with positive npv project once decide where to invest second important point from where to arrange finance financing policies the right way to arrange finance either debt or either equity number 3 for example the company has decided to invest in a project and they have already arranged the finance as well and the work has started some finance of debt and equity arranged has arranged and investment has made and the business is it's now continuing but what next shareholder want shareholder wants return return so as a finance manager we need to make a policy what's the right time to provide return in the form of dividend so syllabus first area formulating and formulate designed and also monitor the investment policy financing policy and dividend policy this is section a the exam scope exam scope 5 to 10 marks 5 to 10 marks this is all about theory 100% theory and the ex exam structure here the exam scope me scope means the structure of the exam either examiner exam with section a or section b where to examine either section a or b it's not possible to examine with section c section b area investment appraisal means once you identify the investment now it's time to appraise investment it's time to appraise investment here the topic about you have already studied decision making in your earlier studies for example f2 f5 f2 f5 decision making that was about short term decision making here the decision making it's a long term if something about long term decision making that means time value of money it's important here so here decision making decision making methodologies are npv irr payback arr and with more details so yes this section b is a mixture of calculation and theory more about calculation but we cannot ignore theory 
that's important the scope in term of marks the scope in term of marks 15 to 25 marks the scope in terms of where to examine structure wise anywhere in the exam the examiner ex can examine with section a section b section c anywhere in the exam that's a section b section c once identified investment now let's discuss about the business finance topic the dynamics of business finance dynamics means where to arrange how to arrange finance either equity or either debts so what are the dynamics to arrange equity finance what are the dynamics to arrange debt finance it's a mixture of calculation and theory and the theory is te very technical here business finance theory is very technical exam scope 10 to 15 marks exam scope 10 to 15 marks and exam scope with respect to the section where to examine either a either b either c so investment appraisal and business finance till now whatever we have discussed examiner can examine and it's already happened with the previous past papers anywhere either section a section b section c section d business valuation business valuation very important and interesting topic actually the business valuation topic is connected with the investment of acquiring some business investment to acquire some business investment to acquire acquisition for example you are a telecom company named mobilink i am another telecom company for example named bharat you have decided to acquire me means Mobiling a telecom company is going to acquire another telecom company named Bharat. So if any company is going to acquire another company, what first thing you need to do? Value the business. Whatever you are going to acquire, value that business. So here we will discuss equity and debt for us. But do remember this business valuation topic with the acquisition merger majorly examined with AFM advance here examiner examine about valuation acquisition with mixture of calculation and theory with mixture of calculation and theory exam scope 10 to 15 marks but examiner only examine with section A and B Oftenly, B section OTQ case oftenly examined by the examiner with this topic, but not in detail examined with the section C because this topic is actually in very detail will examine with AFM exam. This is section D. Section E working capital management working capital management students section e section f last two section that is about finance but for day-to-day -day operations section a b c d finance and investment financial management long-term aspect here financial management short-term aspect long-term aspect short-term aspect let's take one example financial management means investment and investment decisions and financing decision are important for long term purpose and also short term for day to day business operations let's take one example let's suppose you are you are having a business of a supermarket or you are planning to start a business of supermarket 
सो लॉन्ग टर्म इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड फाइनेंस रिक्वायर्ड फॉर लैंड बिल्डिंग शेल्स इक्विपमेंट्स ऑल दीज थिंग्स बट एट वन पॉइंट एट वन पॉइंट यू हैव डिसाइडेड टू इन्वेस्ट विद द लॉन्ग टर्म एंड यू हैव अरेज द लॉन्ग टर्म फाइनेंस एज वेल and you have arranged the you have also arranged the finance as well now next step you also need finance to purchase inventory means to run the business you also need finance to pay the daily wages you also need finance to uh, to pay day to day operations utility bills and so on so how to manage this activity of the business how to manage this activity of the business and this is what called working capital management working capital management topic is working capital management it's a mixture of calculation and theory mixture of calculation theory here examiner are very much concerned to examine theoretical part examiner examine 15 to 25 marks approximately for the entire exam and exam scope in term of section a b c either examiner can examine section a either section b section c anywhere anywhere examiner can examine anywhere with this topic as well. here i want to emphasize one a very important point here i wanted to emphasize one very important point listen carefully students listen carefully the advanced subject of advanced the advanced subject of fm is afm advanced financial management so syllabus area a finance manager role here you study finance manager role in advanced financial management you will study senior financial manager cfo's role multinational manager's role means advanced version number 2 here section b you study investment appraisal in afm you will study advanced investment appraisal here you study with the section c business finance in afm you will study multinational finance advanced finance with section d here you study business valuation basic in advanced financial management you will study acquisition merger advanced business valuation here section f you will study risk management with advanced financial management you will study advanced risk management but for section e afm examiner not examine advanced working capital not examine the advanced working capital so financial manager sorry financial management examining team expect that all basic and advanced level of this topic we will test with the students with this subject so working capital management calculation with theoretical aspect and examiner examine anywhere in the paper the weightage of the paper is 15 to 25 marks at every slide it's mentioned what the weightage please watch the video very carefully exam in marks scope that's 15 to 25 that's exam weightage exam with respect to the section that abc i hope i hope that the student who asked that question hamad you have got the answer next next point last section treasury and risk management treasury and risk management 
topic about treasury function treasurer treasurer who manage the pure cash routine cash of the business routine cash of the business the role of there are multiple role of the treasurer in the business but here examiner examine two specific roles number one forex risk management forex risk what does that mean can you please observe this picture a rainy day the and the purpose of this umbrella is to provide shelter shelter means protection so rain is something about risk so same case here if company regularly deal with forex for example the company having you uh, so, uh, sorry the company is a um, use the raw material which regularly import which regularly import so there is a risk of forex there is a risk of loss that continuously if foreign currency value increase or the local currency value depreciate so it's a risk so it, like this rain the forex fluctuation is also risk but we need protection protection means we need to manage foreign exchange risk we need to protect foreign exchange exchange risk so one of the treasury function is about how to mon how to manage foreign exchange risk one another point business regularly borrow or lend money for example borrow for example company needs 1 lakh dollar after 2 months for after 2 months for one year so there is a risk that after 2 months interest will increase so this is the risk but how to manage that risk this is treasury function these topics are very advanced but the main technicalities of these topics will examine with afm not fm examiner examine here and we know that with the coverage of syllabus the calculation is technical but we cannot ignore theory we cannot ignore theory exam scope 10 to 15 marks maximum and examiner examine either section a or section b either section a or section b either section a or section b that's a point so this is what about syllabus insights so we can conclude the exam structure here exam structure financial management function section a examine with section a section b not with section b c investment appraisal examiner can examine anywhere business valuation section a section b not the section c business finance section a section b or section c anywhere working capital management anywhere a b c risk management either section a section b so business finance investment appraisal and working capital is these three areas are the 60 to 65% of syllabus 60 to 65% of syllabus rest of the three areas 30 to 35% so do prepare your exam with this weightage so if you have any question till now you can ask me so students till now the first phase of the session is over now we are going to move with the second phase of the session but the second phase of session we will cover with the next video so till now thank you very much